how to network for both business, career, and SMMA. Let's get into it. So thank you so much to the person that asked this question uh, earlier this week. Um, I really do appreciate you commenting. I'll put your comment right here. But yeah, if you guys have got any SMMA related topics, do comment them down below and I'll definitely make a video on them because I'm doing five videos a week, Monday to Friday, 6 p.m. UK time. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So traditionally, networking is defined as the action or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional or social contacts. Now, here's the thing, right? Notice the exchange of information, meaning there's an exchange of value, meaning it's mutual. However, what tends to happen normally is, you know, there's like an underdog, aka you, the young, hungry, either entrepreneur or, you know, like someone who's eager to kickstart their career with a bang, um, pandering and kissing up to the executive or, you know, the established entrepreneur that you're trying to seek some sort of value from. I hate that. Like, honestly, that, that that's honestly like um, one of my pet peeves about networking in the traditional sense. I mean, it's completely understandable, right? You don't think you have any experience. You don't think you have any value to add, meaning, you know, like you're going to have to like pander or kiss up to someone anyways, right? That's not necessarily true because here's the thing. Everyone has started off in the same stage as you when you have no contacts, you know, no connections and you haven't really found any success of your own. So people who are established or have established themselves already truly do understand that because they started off in the same position. So if you just speak to them, you know, like a normal human being, it's actually very easy for them to, you know, have a relatable factor where it's like, oh, you know, I remember when I was your age, blah, blah. Um, so yeah. And that's how you form a genuine connection with someone versus if you, you know, stop them on the street, uh, in, in the room of like a coffee meeting or whatever, just be like, Hey, da, 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 you know, how's it going? Uh, Oh, I saw your work on this. I really liked it. Blah. You're, you're overwhelming them, you know, but I completely do understand why a lot of people kind of panda and kiss up to certain people. I, I did that myself at some stage. Um, so yeah, I definitely do understand where you're coming from and it's because you, you know, I had this as well. I had this issue as well. I still do to an extent with certain people, but everyone when they first start has some sort of inferiority complex or complex, which ultimately stems from a lack of self-worth. So what tends to happen is you think that the other person that you're trying to network with has something that you need, meaning you need to pander to them. So you place yourself underneath them in, I guess, the social hierarchy or whatever. Oh, by the way, I really do apologize for the noise in the background. Uh, my housemates has some friends over, so yeah, it's inevitable. But anyways, let's crack on with this week's videos. So now that you guys kind of know why, you know, you may want to pander to these people and where it actually stems from, how do you actually overcome that, you might be wondering. First of all, I believe it starts off with, you know, really seeing it from the other person's perspective. You know, um, let's say put yourself in the um, shoes of the entrepreneur or the executive or the, you know, managing director or whatever. They've been assigned to go to this room to scout for potential talent, I guess. In this room, it's filled with, you know, young, hungry, young people that are trying to, you know, really push their career and have put themselves in a position to do well. Now, if everyone is trying to, you know, s set themselves apart, they're doing something extra, you know? And that essentially what tends to happen is like, you, you blend in with the crowd. If everyone is doing something to try to stand out, then no one stands out, correct? That's, that's the same in like advertising, right? How often do you stop um, to look at and actually engage with an advert on social media? Rarely, but then the times that you do engage, why? It's because, you know, they truly did stand themselves apart. And if you noticed, most of the ads you engage with on social media don't actually look like traditional social media ads, which is why like a lot of marketing agencies are winning amazing results for their clients because they're just smashing it out of the park with, you know, unorthodox ads where people don't really notice their ads, but treat it more as like a friend a friend's post or, you know, um, a post from one of their influencers, let's say, from like a meme page or something like that. But you kind of get the point. I'm rambling a little bit, so let me just get back to the main point. My favorite way to think about this is actually from like almost like a biblical quote, and it's the Matthew effect. So let me just pull that quote up for you real quick. For to everyone who has will be given more, and he will have abundance. 
but from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And what basically that means is like, the people that already are up, essentially, um, they can succeed and scale at a much faster pace at, as those without anything. And essentially a good way to look at it with another quote is, the hungry don't get fed. And what I mean by that is, if you're super eager to eat, and you're super eager to, you know, just like have a conversation and force everything, force the interaction, it's just definitely not gonna happen for you. In my opinion, there's not really such a thing as networking per se. It's literally just comes under the umbre umbrella of like human to human interaction. So how I would approach it is literally, you know, try to strike up a conversation with someone, um, keep it casual, keep it normal almost, unless you're in one of these like super corporate events, then obviously, you know, do, do the right due diligence. But um, other than that, I'd say just keep it casual. And to be honest with networking, I don't really see a difference between uh, networking professionally versus making friends because at the end of the day, you're just, interacting and speaking to another human. If you're uninteresting and unengaging or come off way too strong and just like, um, you know, you're trying to get something from them actively, then it's not gonna work anyways. So just have a natural conversation with anyone you want. Um, another tip is don't be afraid to cold DM and cold do cold outreach even for networking. So if there's someone you wanna connect with on LinkedIn, just send them some messages, you know, connect with them. Uh, with a really strong opening con uh, connection note and then follow up with some messages and just be like, hey, you know, thanks for connecting with me, blah, blah. You know, if you've got a few minutes, I'll, you know, I'd like to dig your brains on da, da, da. And, you know, most of the time, a lot of business professionals would actually be really happy to see, you know, like a younger version of themselves, essentially, coming to them, asking for them for advice because you have to realize um, a lot of people who work in these executive positions don't have anyone reaching out to them, asking for them, them for advice. So, you know, by you doing that, it might actually even make their day. Because I know for a fact that when people DM me uh, questions on Instagram regarding not only SMMA, uh, you know, life in general, student life, anything, literally, like, I feel so honored because, you know, they value my time enough and my, you know, knowledge and experience enough to actually reach out to me. And a lot of the time, that's not going to be easy or comfortable for most people, um, especially when we're in a day and age where it's like, you know, uh, you, you're seen as desperate or whatever if you message someone two times in a row. I don't know if that still applies at my age, but, you know, like silly little things like that, which just blows my mind so yeah definitely don't be afraid to do cold outreach even if you want to send cold emails i think that's a fantastic way to go um i think one of the best ways to seek employment is literally not to message the hr um director of any company but just go straight to you know if you want a marketing job just ask the marketing director like hey man um you know i i really like the like the company culture of xyz company and you know um, I think I would bring to the table this and I'm really, really hardworking and list some soft trait, um, soft, soft skills or whatever. And then just be like, do you guys have any like internship spots available? Obviously there's a right way and a wrong way to ask that. Like you don't try to ask it for the, uh, on the first message, but you know, if you guys have like a brief exchange, just be like, oh, do you guys have any spots? Kind of like, you know, slip it in the conversation. Don't just be like, Hey, you know, um, can I have a job? Because you'll never get a job that way, you know? That just doesn't seem too human. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tips I've given on networking and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.